Hi, I'm Ryan Brain and I'm the President and CEO of WSP in Canada. Now on behalf of all of WSP, I'm pleased to accept the Three Things for Neighbours Challenge. The COVID-19 pandemic has had a significant impact on our communities and it's been important for all of us to pull together and offer our support. And I'm truly proud of WSP's incredibly resilient team and honoured to share some examples of ways in which we're giving back to our neighbours in need. Now we made a strong commitment to help navigate the challenges created by COVID and the first thing we did is commit to operating safely by shifting over 90% of our staff to work remotely to help flatten the curve. Then our world class designers and engineers got to work on hospital conversions, field treatment and triage centres, renovations and processes for building safety, and even created Sanity, which is our new app to track cleaning schedules in public spaces. Our communities, clients and teams in Alberta are, are an essential part of this. And we have 22 offices with almost a thousand colleagues working on 2,000 infrastructure, transportation, resources, energy and environment projects all across the province. Here are three things we've done to give back to our neighbours and to help our communities thrive. Over to Greg Northcott, my Chief Operating Officer based in Edmonton. Thanks Ryan. I'm Greg Northcott, Chief Operating Officer at WSP here in Canada. I'd first like to begin by thanking Andy Trewick of Graham Construction for issuing the challenge to us here at WSP. I've called Edmonton home now for just over 15 years, and the resilient, vibrant community we have here is truly close to my heart. That's why I was so proud that WSP was quick to commit to our neighbours by creating partnerships to support the United Way and Canadian Blood Services. We raised $80,000 for COVID response to directly help the most vulnerable members of our communities, our food banks and shelters. We will build on that gift in October when we celebrate the month of giving. We've challenged ourselves to raise another $300,000 for the United Way and run community-based blood drives with Canadian Blood Services to help meet the shortage of blood and plasma that COVID has created. I'll now hand things over to Navia to share our second initiative. Thanks, Greg. I'm Navia Sharma, VP of Marketing and Communications here at WSP Canada. One of the things I'm most passionate about at WSP is our strong commitment to diversity and inclusion and our commitment to our Indigenous neighbours across Canada. We have deep gratitude for the land that we share, and we've been honored to partner with Indigenous communities on projects, education initiatives, awards, and more. Some of the areas around awards that we partnered is with the Inspire Award Ceremony this year, and that recognizes Indigenous neighbors achieving wonderful things across Canada. We've also been a proud sponsor of the Building Brighter Futures Bursary for young students pursuing careers in STEM. This year, we'll also add an internship program for these students as well. And lastly, for our neighbours that are living in remote Indigenous communities across Canada, we've been sending care hampers throughout COVID to ensure that these communities are able to stay safe while we come in and do the necessary infrastructure repair to ensure that they have vital supply chains back online ahead of winter months. So over to Satvinder for the third initiative. Thanks, Navia. I'm Satvinder Flora, Vice President of ERI at WSP. One of the areas we've really focused on at WSP is supporting our youngest neighbours in building a bright future. Our Developing Professionals Network of smart young engineers and experts runs a community-based tutoring program to help students progress in STEM subjects. We've provided personalised mentorship and helped spark a passion for science and mathematics, and the tutoring program is now making its way across Canada. Our young professionals have been particularly supportive to our elementary school students as they transition to learning remotely. So with that, over to you, Ryan. Thanks, Edwinder. Now I want to challenge some of our colleagues to pay it forward. My thanks to Graham for nominating us for the challenge and thanks to you for watching. Let's keep working together to help our communities thrive.